You've probably heard of the metaverse. In recent months, the topic has taken on huge proportions, which is understandable, considering that it should soon be part of our daily lives, and that investments in this novelty have been increasing. Companies around the world are already working to enter this virtual universe, as are brands, which are already exploring the digital reality space to advertise products and services. But how did it all start? Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell to get more videos like this. Without further ado, let's get started. As we all know, Metaverse is all about gaming, and much of what we see today in digital games such as creating stories through avatars and increasingly immersive structures will be present in this new world, but of course, in a much more real way. What makes the marriage between games and the Metaverse perfect? One thing to note is the metaverse is already reality. Metaverse is already reality. It's important to highlight research data indicating that more than half of metaverse players have used games to socialize in the last three months, including 62% who played Roblox, 58% who competed in Fortnite, and 57% who had fun in Minecraft. This statement already brings us even closer to what our day-to-day -day life with the metaverse will be like. After all, its premise is to replicate our reality through technological devices. The survey also indicates that Metaverse gamers spend, on average, two more hours per month gaming compared to non-virtual gamers. Another important fact is that, on average, these players spend $1.28 every six months. It might not sound like much at first, but know that we're talking about games with millions of players. In other words, we can already see that we'll not be able to escape the metaverse, as happened with so many other technologies that are part of our daily lives today. It's already a reality, and we must be prepared to adapt to this new form of interaction, just like companies and even game developers, as in previous cases. Players will continue to change their behavior and trends must be watched so that we can further advance and refine this market, offering cutting-edge technology and meeting the needs of this audience. Facebook and Metaverse The prominent social network Facebook's owner, Facebook Inc., announced in October 2021 that it'll change its name to Meta. Facebook's founder and designer Mark Zuckerberg made the declaration as part of the presentation of the Facebook papers and used the occasion to express his desire to lead the development of the internet. As a result, Zuckerberg's plans aimed to establish what he called the Metaverse, a virtual environment where individuals from all over the world may come together to engage in various activities, including shopping, working, and playing. The market value of the Metaverse will surpass that of our current technologies, and it'll be more than just a virtual world. For example, by adding the market value of augmented reality, virtual reality, and extended reality, it was estimated to be approximately $30.5 billion in 2021. What's Metaverse? The Metaverse is the evolution of the internet, with interconnected virtual worlds that allow connected users to engage in experience interactions. It's a parallel universe where avatars who engage in activities similar to those in the real world cohabit with each other in virtual communities. The metaverse, in the words of Mark Zuckerberg, is a collection of virtual worlds where you can create and discover with those who are not physically present with you. For people to inhabit these virtual places through devices that have this technology, the metaverse will significantly rely on the most recent virtual reality VR technologies. The company anticipates that there will be new ways to interact with the different VR devices and that they will be much more natural than pressing keys or buttons. According to Zuckerberg, through gestures and even thoughts, different actions can be carried out within the metaverse. But what's the origin of the metaverse? The advancement of technology has created techniques that surprise us today, such as artificial intelligence or virtual reality, which will continue to evolve, in particular towards a transformation linked to the world of the internet. People use technology to enter new environments or areas. The phrase metaverse refers to a virtual universe that merges with the real world and was first used in Neil Stevenson's 1992 book, Snow Crash. It was science fiction in those days, but similar to Jules Verne, this contemporary fantasy was more of a forecast. The idea was increasingly adopted, but in fiction about virtual realms. The metaverse did not exist until the network came into being and the internet advanced. Facebook isn't the first company to bring the metaverse controversy to the attention of the public. Numerous businesses have already begun to fund and generate initiatives for the creation and development of settings in these virtual spaces. What is the metaverse for? 
There is nothing new about the development of scenarios and virtual worlds where each user develops their avatar and interacts with other users. For instance, the video gaming industry has been creating games in this genre for approximately 20 years, including World of Warcraft, Second Life, and The Habbo Hotel, intentionally combining this kind of universe with web browsing and virtual reality. In the metaverse, it's desired that users engage in both leisurely browsing and productive activities like attending meetings or spending time with friends and family or at work. If we consider that, this choice is particularly crucial. After a year of the pandemic and remote work, the company released Horizon Workrooms in August 2021, allowing users to attend virtual meeting rooms and engage with other coworkers while wearing virtual reality glasses. The metaverse aims to bring people together simply by connecting to the network, where they can interact on a deeper level. It does this by extending actions and removing geographical boundaries. Additionally, it serves to build environments that are comparable to the actual ones but free of barriers to increasing opportunities for learning, working, or socializing. Zuckerberg shows new meta projects with artificial intelligence AI. Meta is developing artificial intelligence to enhance voice assistant communications, create speech-generated worlds, and translate between languages. According to CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who outlined the crucial steps in creating a metaverse, meta platforms, the parent business of Facebook, is working on artificial intelligence, AI research to create worlds through speech, enhance communications with voice assistants, and translate between languages. The metaverse, a futuristic concept of virtual spaces where users may work, socialize, and play, is what Zuckerberg believes will replace the mobile internet. Artificial intelligence has been crucial to several of these discoveries. According to Zuckerberg, Meta FB.O is developing a new category of generative AI models that will let users describe a world and produce its elements. Using voice commands, Zuckerberg appeared as a legless 3D avatar on an island and demonstrated an AI idea called the BuilderBot. He first created a beach before adding clouds, trees, and even a picnic blanket. According to Zuckerberg, when this technology develops further, you'll be able to build complex worlds to explore and share experiences with others using nothing more than your voice. It didn't specify a timeline for these developments or go into detail about how the BuilderBot functions. In a move toward how humans would interact with AI in the metaverse, Zuckerberg said Meta was focusing on AI research to enable users to have more natural interactions with voice assistants. In addition, Zuckerberg disclosed that Meta was developing a universal speech translator to offer real-time translation from one language to another. The business already had its objective to have its AI system interpret all written languages. The social media company has made significant investments in its new strategy for creating the metaverse and changed its name to reflect this ambition. Recently, the company lost a third of its market value as a result of a poor earnings report. How will the metaverse affect society? By 2022, the majority of Americans will either work from home or in a hybrid setting that combines face-to-face -face interaction with telecommunicating. This number is falling compared to earlier studies, although 40% of the workforce reports doing only face-to-face -face work. Additionally, many businesses have stated their goal to transition to hybrid workplace in the future, which would result in a decrease in the number of physical workplaces. For employees to remain productive and connected to their work surroundings, hybrid and remote work environments require a high level of technological dependency. Technology advancements, according to both employees and employers, have increased productivity and cultivated relationships among coworkers. They both agree that video conferencing technology is the one that fosters connections between coworkers the most. The metaverse will have cultural, societal, and personal effects in addition to technological ones. In the end, the metaverse is a transformation of the person. Each person's choice are used to create an avatar. Furthermore, the metaverse will make online activities considerably more immersive than current developments in virtual reality. In other words, the metaverse will enable us to interact with brands and immerse ourselves in virtual worlds and settings designed both for this and the consumption of other kinds of information. All technologies have benefits and drawbacks, and this point is primarily what raises the first alarms in this regard. People lacking in social skills will discover opportunities to build personalities in the metaverse that they would not otherwise have. However, they also risk having fewer and fewer encounters with the real world, which could be worse. The metaverse has the potential to be a platform and environment for co-creation and collaboration between content creators and businesses, which will undoubtedly speed up the development of technology and enable an increasing number of fields of knowledge to come together to develop ideas. This is important from a technology and marketing perspective. That's all for today, folks. 
Thanks for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, let us know what you think in the comment box. Make sure to hit the like button and notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. While you're here, kindly click on one of the other two videos you see on your screen. See you there!